New tonight at 10, claims of physical and emotional abuse by a Madras cheer coach have local families demanding justice. In this special report, Isabella Warren speaks with parents who say they want to prevent this from happening to other children. Multiple allegations of emotional and physical abuse have been reported to News Channel 21 by parents and coaches at Central Oregon Elite Cheer concerning Central Oregon Cheer Coach Ashley Mantega. Mantega is the owner of Central Oregon Cheerleading. These girls are scared. I mean, they're, they're just, they're not, you know, they're little kids. Central Oregon Elite President Kim Kibble says the organization fired Mantega in July following multiple incidents reported at a cheer camp in Portland. Ashley was very adamant that the girls were going to make her look good no matter what. She was very, very um, not nice to the girls. Ashley walked up to her put both of her hands in between her thigh and her calves and grabbed her calves and I could see her put her fingertips into her legs and grunt her teeth and say like this. But Mantega says it's a different story. There has been bullying, there's been fighting, there's been meltdowns during practice and at events and it was kind of making the older girls upset and didn't want to be a part of the program anymore. News Channel 21 learned a full investigation was conducted by St. Charles Medical Center, law enforcement, and the Oregon Department of Human Services after reports were filed. The department determined there was a concern for physical abuse caused by Mantega. She came home with bruises from Ashley because Ashley would segregate her from the other cheerleaders and put her hands on her and be really mean and forceful with my child. The girls were constantly fa falling down, hurting each other. Um, even the camp instructors even gave a comment saying, wow, this girl wants to die. Antega says she has not been contacted by investigators since the first abuse investigation. I have been getting threats from the cheer parents, cheer family. My daughter has been getting threats. Um, on social media. We've learned nearly 10 teams in Jefferson and Crook County have been coached by her since 2020. Dozens of parents and teammates from some of those previous teams reached out to News Channel 21, alleging similar abuses. We reached out to Madras Police and Crook County Sheriffs for updates on police reports filed, but was told they had not received any reports. We want to make sure that the next generation of teams don't fall into the same pitfall that we did. This is a mistake and we all learn from it. And and hopefully, you know, this will just end and everyone continue because at the end, I don't want this to hurt the girls because it's all about the kids. We'll have more on the allegations and hear from a team member in part two of this special report tomorrow night here at 10.